Hello. <laughs> Hello, this is Olivier. Today I'm going to play a bit around with dynamic painting. So first I'm going to try just a simple painting. So basically you need two things. You need a canvas and a brush. So the first, uh, the cube is going to be the brush and uh, of course the plane is the canvas. So you just go to the um, dynamic and uh, the physics tab. You enable the brush for the, the cube and we will see all the other options a bit later. There are some, I was just trying around this evening and I found uh, quite some funny things. So this is just a simple uh, sample of uh, painting. So you always need to, to press Alt A to have uh, animation so that it's just like looping around and I think for the whole rest of the movie I'm going to loop my animation and have some fun. So here you can see I just rotate the cube so that we see it's really the shape of the cube. Even when you have a longer one and you like rotate and you can see that the painting is still uh, always correct. Even with longer cubes, uh, like you could imagine an object falling on the ground or something and uh, you will still have some nice painting. This is just vertex painting, you can do different things. So now I'm going to try something with the, the particles. So instead, instead of having the, the dynamic paint source, um, a normal object, you can add uh, particles. And you can see, as soon as you select the particles, whenever a particle drops on the canvas, it's just painting. So it, it can really start to get fun. Uh, especially when you start to move around the cube, it's all real time, just uh, running around, and each particle just paints the on the ground, like you would like I don't know rain drops, these kind of things. Uh, you can even erase the painting if you select this option. So maybe we can. Uh, what can we try? Yeah, maybe we can. Let's try to duplicate and have one that paints and another one that erases at the same time. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm painting with the blue one and just be behind there's one erasing my painting. Uh, I don't know if it's useful but at least it's fun here. Uh, it's, yeah, we can even paint one red, one blue. Um, I didn't tweak the, the particle system. So for this, I just do a simple one. Okay, maybe we try something else. Is instead of having one object blue, one object red, we can maybe try to paint and change the color of the painting. So I think we can maybe stop and we can animate this the color value of the painting in time so like 70 frames later or something we can change and I think it should work I'm not sure but it should work uh, at least here I see some red and green paintings and yeah it seems to be good wow oh I think we can really have a lot of fun with it So maybe I'm not. I don't know exactly what I do because you know I'm just playing around with it. But what I'm trying to do is basically play with the opacity. So I don't want that every particle paints a total, uh, a full color. You can just have like you need to have a whole bunch of particles that starts to paint your your canvas. So no, I think here is still not so good. It's like only half of it, maybe to the alpha. Mm. 
Okay, let's try something else. Uh, because there are other options that I forgot to to show. It's instead of painting things, you can I mean painting vertex color. You can like paint waves. And, uh, up. Every particle that falls on the the ground creates a little wave. You have different options. Uh, I think the the border options makes the um, the wave kind of reflect on the border of your plane. If you don't enable it, then it's just uh, open sea kind of. I guess this with the ocean simulation is very nice. And okay, that would be like painting weights. I think it can be a lot of fun. And in this case, instead of weights, we can paint actually the displacement. And as you can see, you just move around the cube and all the particles kind of fall in the ground and create little craters and holes in it.